you are coming with me right now. Um, who are you? Just get in my car so I will tell you. Sorry lady, I am not getting in your car. I don't talk with strangers, the people I don't know. Just get your ass in my car right now or I will have to drag you there. Fine, fine, fine. Get in the car right now. Lucas. What are you doing here? Well, I was gonna ask you the same thing. I myself am here for no reason at all. Some woman came into my house, and she asked to me to get in by car. The same thing happened to me. What does she want with me? You two shut your mouths up and don't say another word. Get to bed right now or else you will be eating leftover stew beef and potatoes for breakfast while we eat our own. And who are you to talk to us about what we are supposed to do? You and that crazy woman who sent us here are not our parents, ugly face. Excuse me, you now better than to speak to a grown adult like that. Now you both will be going to bed early. Get to bed right now. Is my breakfast ready? Yes it is. It's on the table. All right. The boys are eating their breakfast as well. There is no escape from this place. Those two boys will stay here forever and ever, and if they dare try to escape, I will call the police. Don't give me that look on my face. Shut up. You know why I'm angry. That food you made me eat tasted pretty awful. You are so mean to me that I wish you were arrested for abduction. I heard what you said about me and Lucas being here forever. Watch your tone with me young man. How about I beat you up to see how you like it? You kidnapped me from my house for no reason. Take me back right now. Hey, you know better than to talk to her like that and is very uncalled for you control freak. That's so damn it Harold, get to your room right now while I deal with this guy here. He is a friend who is staying at my house for real while. Listen to her. Harold. Room, now. He's just being arrogant. I said go Harold, I will deal with her. You never even cared about me, you only used me as a tool to look good in front of other people, and the fact just like me you never even showed any consideration for the the boys. Why would you even care, you promised me that this fight between us is over and you are defending these boys like you want them out of here. You're pathetic, damn right pathetic. You're the one who is pathetic as hell, because you are my friend and you dare to betray me like this, just unbelievable. I think it's time to escape, they're arguing, we distracted them for now. Alright. Hey they escaped, let's catch them now. Now that we escaped, let's go back to our prospective places. Damn it we lost them, but at least W have each other. Harold, you were gone for a few hours, where were you? It's a long story dad, me and Lucas encountered this woman and her friend so we just walked away from them. But here I am now. Alright. Those people were complete trash anyways. I will just go to my room to chill for a while.